After not being able to conceive naturally, we began our assisted fertility journey. It started with ovulation injections before moving to Clomid pills, and when none of that worked, we decided to move straight to IVF. I completed the egg retrieval surgery and was able to freeze eight embryos. Yeah, it seems it looks like the best. <laughs> you can tell what it looks like. And transfer one. Please. Right. That one seemed to have worked as I got a positive pregnancy test, but then I found out later that it stopped growing and resulted in a We then decided to take a break from it all and that break ended up lasting a year, which was a lot longer than we anticipated, but we were now back feeling ready and eager to try again. Again, it's embryo transfer day exactly one year after we did it last time um, we've saved up some money I feel a little bit more a lot more stable mentally things are better right now and I feel hopeful once again I'm really excited uh, I didn't film it but we prepped the same way this time again. I've been going to the clinic for the past two weeks doing blood tests and I started progesterone. I am doing the natural form of IVF again, uh, so without the injections. Even though I was doing the exact same form of the embryo transfer again, I did make some changes in the past year to help prepare myself a little bit differently. So there is this one book that I have been told to read so, so many times from you guys. It's called it starts with the egg by Rebecca Fett and after I finally read it I was so mad at myself for not reading it earlier it talks about ways that you can help to balance your hormones and the ways that you can produce higher quality eggs so I started to make lifestyle and diet changes and take a lot more supplements that um, I, I got from this book along with my prenatal which I had been taking for the past three years while I was trying to conceive. I also cut out caffeine this round. Last round I had my allowance of one cup a day. This time I tried it with nothing. I feel fuzzy, I feel tired, I hate this feeling. I also modify my workouts to be less strenuous. I used to run a lot. Now I do more walking or walking on an incline. I basically try to make my body stay really calm so I didn't eat or drink anything that would spike my blood sugar or um, my energy levels or something like that. I just thought it would be worth mentioning that these are some things that I've tried. Yes or no? I don't know. I don't want to put too much hope for it first. I think it's a 
yes. I think it's a yes. Just what the coordination. Go with the flow. Yeah, go with the flow. <laughs> But what do you think if you had to guess? I don't know. I didn't check this time, no, because last time I, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a good news to you too. It hey, works? Yes. The level is 325. So it's hard. Yes. So what is the meaning of this? This will be one of the most exciting, trying, difficult, amazing, overwhelming, loving time of your life. Cherish the moments because they grow incredibly fast. You really don't realize how fast time goes. Do not wish their life away. As I sit here writing this with tears, thinking about my babies. We all make mistakes, but we do the best we can because we want only the best for our kids. You will make mistakes and have tough times and be unsure of yourself, get mad, yell because it's all part of it, even when they're on their own. I have never regretted the time or things I gave up for my kids. When your first is born, you will become a mama bear, ferocious with protection and love, and you will not ever experience this type of love in your life. You will be the most amazing mom. I so wish for you to come closer for him or her to be part of our lives one day. So my heart 
congratulations. A very lucky baby will be born to two special people. I'm very excited. Another angel for me. You will now see how much I love you now that you're having a child of your own to love. Love you with my heart, mom. Oh. Mm. Oh, I wish I could be with her. Can you see me? Oh, there she is! <laughs> Can you see this? Oh, no! Is that baby? Ha, ha, ha! Is that a Why is the yes? So why is the meaning of 325? So we expect the level should be around 80 to 100. That's good. And it's three. You are 325. Which one's your one? Unlikely to become twins, but there is still chance because it's 325. Of course. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We cannot check it today by ultrasound, mm -hmm. so we need to wait for two weeks. <laughs>